Welcome to Split, a city with a history spanning more than 2,000 years. It is famous for its UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Diocletian's Palace, a massive Roman complex built by the Emperor Diocletian in the 4th century AD. But did you know that there is more to Split than meets the eye? In this video, we will explore the sensational discovery of large Roman baths and mosaics under the Split City Museum, one of the most important and visited museums in Croatia. The Split City Museum is located inside the Dominic Papalic Palace, a Renaissance building constructed by the noble Papalic family in the 16th century. The palace is situated in the northern part of the Diocletian's Palace. The museum displays various artifacts and exhibits related to the history and culture of Split, from the ancient times to the present day. But what lies beneath the museum is even more fascinating. In 2023, during the restoration work of the museum and the installation of a lift, archaeologists made a stunning discovery. They found large Roman baths and mosaics under the building dating back to the time of the construction of Diocletian's palace. These baths were hidden for centuries under layers of soil and rubble and were only revealed by the ongoing works which are part of a European project called Palace of Life, City of Change. The baths were equipped with underfloor heating, a system of pipes and furnaces that circulated warm air under the floor and through the walls. The baths also had pools, cisterns and a praetorium, a room where the bathers could relax and socialize. The most impressive feature of the baths is the mosaic floor, which covers an area of about 100 square meters. The mosaic is made of small pieces of stone and glass, forming geometric patterns and floral motifs. The mosaic is remarkably well preserved and shows the high level of craftsmanship and artistic skill of the Roman mosaicists. The discovery of the Roman baths was unexpected because for years it was assumed that the northern part of Diocletian's palace housed barracks and training grounds for Diocletian's personal guard and staff. These baths are evidence that the emperor also built luxurious facilities for his entourage and guests as well as for himself. Diocletian was a Dalmatian-born soldier who reigned as the Roman Emperor from November 248 AD to May 305 AD. He is considered a great reformer, having restructured the empire's provinces and reorganized its administrative system. He also divided the empire into two halves, each ruled by a senior emperor, Augustus, and a junior emperor, Caesar, creating a system known as the Tetrarchy. Diocletian was the first emperor to persecute Christians as he saw them as a threat to the stability and unity of the empire. He also initiated the largest and most comprehensive tax reform in Roman history as well as a series of edicts to control prices and wages. Diocletian was the first Roman emperor to voluntarily abdicate, retiring to his palace in Split where he spent his last years tending to his vegetable garden. The Roman baths were not only a place for bathing, but also a place for socializing, entertainment and culture. The baths were open to the public and people of different classes and genders could mingle and enjoy various activities. The baths often had libraries, lecture halls, gymnasiums, gardens and shops. The Roman baths were also a symbol of the power and prestige of the Roman Empire as they demonstrated the engineering and architectural achievements of the Romans. The baths required a complex system of water supply and drainage, as well as a sophisticated design and decoration. The baths were also a way of spreading the Roman culture and lifestyle to the conquered territories as they introduced the customs and habits of the Romans to the local populations. Thank you for watching this video about the unexpected discovery of Roman baths under the Split City Museum in Croatia. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos about ancient history and archaeology. See you next time.